So we're gonna ground some chuck roast. I had a friend that's uh, getting another uh, quarter side of cow and wanted to, uh, to grind some of the stuff he had in his freezer. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the ST Megaforce uh, 3000 grinder with a quarter inch uh, grinder head on it. And we're gonna grind up some chuck roast in the hamburger. And I've also got some uh, pork fat that was off of pork butt um, that I saved just for this occasion. So about eight pounds of chuck roast and about a pound of pork fat there. And that's what we'll start with. So uh, first thing we got to do is with this particular grinder, it has about a two inch throat and we'll cut strips about two inches before we go ahead and grind it. One thing to note is I did thaw these just to the point to where they're semi-frozen, just a little bit frozen, so that they grind easier. It allows, being semi-frozen allows the fat to be ground up a little easier. So we're gonna cut these up and then put them down the grinder and then see what we have. All right, let's get to trimming the meat. So again, about two inch strips will work just nicely. Okay, so there we have it, about eight pounds of chuck roast cut up and about a pound of uh, pork fat off a piece of pork butt. And now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take these through the grinder. This grinder has uh, two speeds, a low and a high. It has a reverse too. So if you happen to get some, some uh, sinew or, or fat stuck in the grinder head, you can pull it back and then try to go through again. So that's a nice feature. Typically with this one, I have to grind this on high and uh, it'll chew right through them, as you'll shortly see here. So let's go ahead and uh, get to grinding. So the low speed will grind it, but you can see how much better the high speed is. So this is the high speed. Much better, huh? And again, have it kind of frozen, makes it grind so much easier. And I'll alternate the pork fat. pork fat come out. All right, so that is the first grind with a quarter inch die. So you can see when I first started, it was on low speed. It would do it, but a little slow. And then we put it up to high speed. You can see it just pulling that meat through there very nicely through the quarter inch die. So, okay, we've got uh, that ground up, but for hamburger, we'd like that to be a little, a little finer. So I'll switch to the eighth inch die, and then we'll go ahead and grind it to that. And that'll be our, our final product. So let me switch it out and uh, we'll start that grind. Okay, pretty easy to change the grinder head. Just simply unscrew the, the retaining nut here. Okay, we'll change the grinding die out now. We'll go from a quarter inch to, I think it's about an eighth inch uh, die. Two little tabs here. You just pop them out, maybe. Yeah, there it goes. You just pop it out just like that. So um, it's a bit of a pain to get clean, but you just kind of shoot water through it uh, let it soak for a while and uh, it's not too bad. So 
All right, I'll switch this out to, to the new one. With this particular grinder, you match the cutter with each of the die heads um, so that you keep them matched because this cutter will, it will go ahead and mate up to this and kind of become a match pair. So I always keep the same cutter and the same die head together. So these are a match set. They get put into a baggie um, together. So there they are. Now we'll put the eighth inch uh, grinding die on. First, we've got to put the cutter in, and the cutter, of course, the flat goes out towards the die, and then the die goes in, and there's two, two tabs on either side. They fit right in there, and then once those are on, the retaining nut just screws on. Pretty easy. Just snug it up a little bit. Don't have to be Superman about it, but just give it a good snug. Okay, there we go. So let's get another bowl and we'll grind, we'll grind the other half. Now let's go ahead and take the, the quarter inch ground stuff, put them through the grinder into the eighth inch die, and uh, we'll do that and then we'll see what the final product is. Prior to doing that though, because I did mix some pork fat in this, what I'm going to do is go ahead and mix this up a little bit just to make sure where I had the pieces of pork fat that we kind of mix them up. So, and when you mix this up, it still should be pretty cold because um, you did grind it kind of semi-frozen. Okay, that's probably plenty good. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn the grinder on to fast speed and we will start. Just finished grinding up the uh, chuck roast with the eighth inch die. That went pretty well. Um, takes just a little time taking the quarter inch grind stuff and pushing it through, but it's, it's really not too bad. So now we've gotten it to the point to where our push stick goes all the way down, and we know we still have meat that's, that's in the, the uh, turret and the grind head here. So a little bit of a trick is to take a couple pieces of bread, the heel, and Go ahead and shove just a couple pieces of bread down there and then that'll push it through. When you see the bread kind of come out, you know, you at least got, got most of your meat. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. And you can see it just started to get uh, kind of gray, and that is indeed the, the bread that's coming out. So the grind is complete. Um, now what I'll do is I'll take it and I will go ahead and put it in one pound packs, vacuum pack it, and then I'll give it to my buddy. So that's, uh, that's really how easy it is. It's not a real big deal. Uh, keeping stuff cold, uh, freezing, partially freezing the meat. Um, to grind it makes it just so much easier. So the uh, SXT uh, Turbo Force 3000 here, I've had it for probably, I don't know, maybe nearly a couple years, and I've ground quite a bit of meat in it. It's never failed me, never overheated, uh, always done a really good job. So um, yeah, works well. So hopefully you enjoyed that uh, video of grinding on this particular grinder, and uh, good luck to you. Hope you enjoyed this film. See you next time.